Welcome back. Chronic sinusitis is a common condition in which the nasal cavities around nasal passages become inflamed and swollen for weeks on end. Thankfully, there are ways to treat the disease and there are alternatives to surgery. Joining us now is Dr. Akash Anand with Geno Snoring and Sinus and patient Alicia Cantrell. Welcome. Thank you Thank so you. much for having us. Of course. So starting out, what is balloon sinoplasty? So balloon sinuplasty is essentially a minimally invasive technique where you dilate open the natural sinus passageways. All of us have sinuses in our face that actually drain, and we basically exploit that and drain them by dilating open the sinus passage. It allows a significant reduction in sinus pressure, nasal congestion, and even chronic sinus infections as well. And it's all done in the office. Okay, so is this a new procedure, or have we seen it's this? It's not before? entirely new. So the concept okay. has been around since about 2005, and most patients are aware of angioplasty for the heart. So it essentially is the same thing. We thread a little nice. balloon on a guide wire and open up the sinus. Things have been FDA approved since about 2010, 2011, meaning the devices that are utilized for it. So we've got a good period of time, almost a decade of intervention where this has proven itself effective as well. So who's the ideal patient for this, this type of procedure? Ideal patients are your typical Southeast Louisiana patient, really people <laughs> that suffer from chronic sinusitis, nasal congestion, and even recurring sinus infections. These are people that don't suffer from the intermittent sinus pressure or sinus infection, but they've had chronic symptoms that haven't responded to antibiotics, to steroid sprays, to antihistamines, to saltwater sprays, and they're still enduring the sinus pressure and congestion. They are the ideal candidate for these procedures. I see. So, Alicia, tell us, tell us your story. It sounds like you were the ideal candidate. Yes, I have had allergies since I was born. So, growing up in New Orleans, I was always sneezing and coughing. And then, as an adult, it just got worse. The sinus pressure in my ears. I kind of blinked out driving one time because I oh just couldn't goodness. balance. And I have not been able to breathe like this in my life. So, this was literally a life changing experience for you. Absolutely. I, I just, I've been on everything Dr. Anand said, the steroids, the uh, chronic infections, throat always sore. I used to have to carry a nasal spray with me all the time, uh, trouble sleeping, and the last three weeks have been amazing. Yoga has been Oh, right. Wow. Yeah. right. A little bit better when you can breathe, right? Exactly. Right. She brings up a good point. You know, the main symptoms tend to be sinus pressure and congestion, but what, as Cantrell has alluded to, is the extension of this, how it can affect other things. Sleep, yoga, dependent positioning, that sinus pressure gets trapped. A lot of times when the weather would change and a cold front would come through, she would notice the pressure before other people would. You're basically a human barometer in those cases. She had significant inflammation in her sinus passages, and it was really narrowing the drainage pathway, causing a big blockage to occur. Think of it like a plumbing system where the pipes don't flow and we have to get in there and really open everything up. And it's all done in an office with a local anesthetic. It's kind of similar like going to the dentist, wouldn't you agree? Yes, and it was, I was afraid because I had friends who had horror stories and I had no pain. That was the most amazing part about everything. It's, sure. you know, it's a little pressure right. inside for the procedure but it took longer for you to numb me. Sure. I think than it actually did for the procedure. Right. There's a few days of kind of congestion. Oh my God, but when it's over, once the swelling goes down, I was just like, I, it's like I had to practice breathing again. <laughs> right, because you're, you're not used to it, that's yes. true. And what so we can Doctor, see what are we looking on the screen here? Perfect, so what we see here is a CT scan. This is not Ms. Cantrell, but what it shows on the left is a patient with that gray fluid level in that sinus. You can see that there, that big chunk of gray secretion just sitting there. That's a typical patient with sinus pressure, congestion, none of it's responded. On the right, this is after we did a balloon sinus dilation. About a few weeks afterwards, that is essentially gone. I we see. open up the sinus, we suction out that secretion, and then that individual will continue to drain. A lot of patients refer to it as a rotor rooter almost. Right. We <laughs> just kind of drain them out and get them breathing a whole lot better too. Sure. So Lisa, you mentioned balance. So doctor, can you talk to me about, about balance? Yes, what? that's a great, great point actually. So in the back of the nose is a tube called the eustachian tube, and this actually connects to the ears. So a lot of sinus and allergy patients will say, my ears are a lot of pressure, they feel stuffed. And when we actually reduce that inflammation, we can then open that tube up and it offsets the pressure. That pressure is therefore no longer pressing on the balance organ in the ear and it can also improve a patient's sense of balance. So these are great 
side symptoms that people come in with, and she's a perfect example of patients that have not only the core symptoms of pressure and congestion, but all these peripheral symptoms as well, really making this a debilitating condition in terms of quality of life. Sure. So how do you know, I mean, if this is, um, you know, something that you should consider, A, and then B, if this is something that, you know, really is that debilitating for you? Exactly. So most patients, when they come in, they'll tell us, I've been on sprays, I've been on antihistamines. I see. Okay. A person who suffers from this year-round, we define chronic as anything more than three months. So that's a good metric right there. There are also patients that suffer from recurring bouts of infections four or five times a year. They go to the doctor, the urgent care, they get shots, antibiotics, it gets better, but it comes back. If ultimately in the back of your head you have a question of why, why am I keep getting this, why do I keep getting this, why aren't the medicines working, that's when it's important to have a conversation with your physician to really see what else is going on. Wonderful. All right. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Thank so, you so much. much Thank you very much. All right. To learn more about GNO Snoring, you can visit their website. That's GNOSnoring.com. You can also give them a call at the number on your screen or visit them in person at 4224 Homa Boulevard, Suite 205 in Metairie. And of course, there's much more to come on Great Day After the Break, so make sure you stick with it. You're watching Great Day Louisiana, and we'll be right back.